hello everyone i hope everybody is doing great so this video was taken last year when we were in nagaland we are just sharing our memories which we went to jungle and foraging bamboo shoot and then not only that how to make bamboo shoot fermentation that's right we went in the month of zun july if i remember Zun July, right? Yes. Z just kidding. Z <laughs> just kidding. So believe me, that's that's the correct pronunciation in Nagaland. Not about in Nagaland. J. Not only all over Nagaland. Actually, Ziliang. Ziliang. Especially, they pronounce it like that. Okay, that's so much fun. Now, anyway. have to cut the bamboo shoots and the nagas have such a strong connection with bamboos they eat bamboos they make houses with bamboos and even weapons yeah weapons with bamboos spoons all kinds of things and uh, my father-in-law was planning to make a rocket using bamboo <laughs> yeah i think you can do all things with bamboos so you guys clean up the bamboos in the jungle itself yeah so that it will be lighter for us to carry yeah so you, you guys carry you guys carry that in that basket, in basket. which is made yeah. of cane yeah all right mm -hmm, that's a cane i think yeah. cane basket very strong it lasts for many years mm -hmm. i saw beautiful but you know uh, during this season there will be so many mosquitoes so you have to cover up our bodies <laughs> that's right i always used to go into this jungle with my father in law and it was so much fun i really missed those days and uh, the entire year i was there in nagaland um, you know i loved nagaland the best thing you know i can talk about nagaland is the safety for women they can go anywhere by themselves and nobody will hurt them that's really really amazing so they go to the jungle by themselves women go there that's amazing really look at that so this it was raining those days or yeah it was drizzling drizzling okay this mom is collecting their sister as well. and dad is there taking it in the gypsy look at those streams fresh water it's very clear beautiful crossing a river very adventurous journey it was and uh, you know there are many ways you can prepare this bamboo shoots right yes i think at least three ways fermented one yeah, fresh one, fresh one we can eat it like this mm -hmm. fresh curry boil it and eat it yeah then then is one sour bamboo shoot there's one mm, fermented bamboo shoot so which we can use it for many years it means we can store it for many years but believe me the smell is horrible <laughs> you will not want to come near it but if you close your nose and Once you know the taste take a bite you not know the smell you forget the smell <laughs> yeah that's that's some magic that happens so if you close your nose and uh, take a bite and uh, some magic happens and uh, you will forget about the smell and then you will start enjoying them uh, most of the naga foods are like that so you will have to have a courage and you have to prepare for battle and then you will have to eat it so that's how i eat the uh, insects and um, i'm not mentioning everything here but <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we should not mention this. yeah for the sake of for the sake of yes for yes the for the sake of <laughs> zun zulai okay Funny. so that's that's so really nice for fermenting mm -hmm. should yeah you need to have a lot of patience to do this look mm, at our chicken we miss you, you see those chickens our chickens we had bought them and reared them and we got so many chicklings or chicks <laughs> it's chicks yeah it's called chickling chickling yeah it's chicks joining chicks we left them and came yeah 
Uh, but it was fun. See, this is another way of storing it. We're going to store it in the ground, under the ground or something. Under the ground, above. Above it, but you keep some weight on them. But traditional way, you have to keep it under the mud. I think both. Both ways are there. Yeah. Different ways of preserving them. It stays for years, is it? You can use it for many years. It's a lot of fun. All the family members together doing it, not just one person. That's that's another thing I love about my Naga family. You know the love they have. You know they don't have to worry about laborers. Everybody is there to help each other. Is it? I wish we also can get bamboo shoot in Kerala, right, honey? We will get bamboo shoot, but it's not plenty. So yeah, if when the bamboo shoot comes, now. when the bamboo shoot comes up, and if we just cut them off, they won't be <laughs> <laughs> much. But in Nagaland, you can afford to do that because yeah. it's plenty. Not, not only, only that. Yeah, not only uh, that. Wild animals. Yeah, here we cannot just go into the jungle like yeah. Nagaland, where wild animals are there, tigers, mm, elephants. Oh, yeah, elephants are there. So, but anyway, so when if you come to Nagaland, try to taste uh, bamboo shoot. It's really nice. You have to, of course, take precautions, close your nose, and <laughs> take the first bite, and then you will start. Being addicted, you will be. Give me my bamboo shoot. You will be crying for bamboo shoot. Yes. But anyway, we hope you enjoyed watching this episode. If you do, please um, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. All right, we will be making many more beautiful, beautiful videos share. like this. Yes, that's right. Please share. Sharing is caring. Okay. All right. So wherever you are watching us from, much love. Uh, take care. God bless you. Love you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.